Hello uh, everyone, this is my questions. I answer my questions for uh, Ebe Ebe. Everyone knows this in Poland, big YouTube channel. Create it funny memes, create it funny YouTube video of me. So I answered your 23 questions and hmm, maybe we can do an interview in Poland. See you soon. Ha! <laughs> your favorite beer. <laughs> and my favorite beer. Um, when I was in the USA, I drank this beer called Blue Moon. Very nice. I didn't see it here, but Blue Moon, you get a slice of orange, put it inside and drink it. I, I like this. Whenever I was training in San Diego, I tried this here. I liked it. But when I'm here, my favorite uh, beer would be maybe Corona, maybe Corona, and I like Guinness also. So they're kind of like my three main beer. I don't drink whiskey too much. I'm not really a whiskey person or I'll, uh, vodka. I'm not really into this too much. Your favorite Polish dish? Um, oh, I don't know what it's called, but it's uh, dumplings with uh, red cabbage and duck. You know what duck? Yeah. yeah. I don't know what this dish is called in Poland, but. Kaczka. 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 Yeah, yeah. Duck, uh, red cabbage, and dumplings. I like this in Poland. Very nice. Smash the go. <laughs> Have you ever eat hot dog from Ziabka? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I did, yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. I, uh, it's like traditional thing, you know, you go into the Ziabka local shop, they're there all the time. Yeah, I've had a few of them, yeah. When I drank alcohol, yeah. <laughs> what will I do? <laughs> what will I do with Popik's gold teeth when I win? Hmm, I'm going to give him the opportunity to give me the teeth or else I'm going to have to put my elbow in his face to take his teeth. So it's up to him, he can go the easy way or the hard way. But I think he'll probably go the hard way, so I'm going to have to boom, take them, gum shield, and inside the gum shield, teeth. Take your uh, gum shield back and give me your teeth. Now this is real gold, not this gold bar that I sell This the, from Fame MMA. These gold teeth are like three gold bars. Well, I'll exchange that, no problem. <laughs> Would I take two fights on one event? Yes. Yeah, oh, of course, yeah. Whoever wants to fight, I can fight one guy uh, first fight. I take a rest, drink some tea, drink some coffee. If there's some guys from Fame MMA who think, yeah, I think I could fight with Norman Park, I think I could. Or even someone from any other organization who wants to come and fight with me. Because I'm former UFC guy, yeah, yeah, let's fight former U Come, no problem. I'll fight you in the first uh, fight and then I'll rest, I'll drink some tea, maybe smoke a little weed and I'll whip your ass at the end of the night too, so... Very easy money for me. Hmm. Do you feel respect for Michael Boxelbera? Do I have respect for him? Yes. Yeah, I like him. Yeah, I know people think that we have beef, but I like him. He's cool. Why? He's cool guy. When I speak with him, he's cool with me. But people think we fall out because... Uh, the stuff with Casio, but no, I like, I like Boxdale. I think he's a cool guy. Do you have contact? With Conor McGregor. No, I've never trained with Conor McGregor. I've never trained in his gym. I've trained with some of the people who he trained with, uh, some of his old training partners, but we've never actually trained together. I always wanted to train with him to see what it would be like to spar, just to analyze how he, he does things. But one time I was meant to go prepare, help with him prepare for Diaz because I'm a left-handed fighter. I'm kind of like, you know, can fight the distance. Diaz goes the distance a lot. Um, and this was the time he asked me to come, but at this time my knee was ligaments ripped in pieces, so I would just probably be a punching bag, so this was the only interaction we had with each other uh, before his second fight with Diaz. He asked me to come and train with him, so... But my coach and my coach and uh, his coach, John Kavna, uh, know each other very well. They've trained together, know each other very well. Do you spend a lot of time uh, on the internet? Well, yeah, mostly Instagram, yeah. Um, I could be, you know, if some, sometimes I try not to be on it, but I know with fighting a female me, you need to be on it lots of times to publicise and promote, but I don't like to be on it every day and just post, 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 post. But I be on YouTube a lot. I'm addicted to YouTube. I always look at YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Uh, I don't really watch movies or anything like that there. 
or Netflix. I don't. I have Netflix, but I don't really watch it much. But I'm always on YouTube. I'm addicted to YouTube and Instagram. I think I have an addiction to that. <laughs> yeah. Dwarfs? dwarfs? Would I fight ten dwarfs? Ten, ten Where's ten dwarfs come from? What do you think? This is Snow White. Oh, Snow, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, Mini Mike and Big Jack. Yeah. Oh, I just kicked these guys like a rugby ball into the crowd. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Fuck. Only in Poland that's crazy. <laughs> Ah, hardest fight in terms of technical hardest fight. There's hardest fights in different ways, you know, but the hardest technical fight would have been against my last fight in UFC against the Russian guy, Rustam Kabalov, because it was a very close fight, but he was too strong, you know. It was like I tried my best to get back to my feet, but he was just uh, blocked all my exits. His coach was Khabib's father in the corner. He won the fight, but this would have been technically the toughest fight. What do you think about uh, legendary MMA fighter Daryl Lyon from, Lyon, uh, from London? Yeah, personally I don't know him too. I just saw his fight against Neyman on Fame MMA. He fight Neyman. He fight Neyman. Yeah, he fight with Neyman and uh, he's fighting on the MMA VIP. Yes. Yeah, so... Taxis yeah, I see, but... He looks like an animal, but if he wants to fight with me, this is very easy money. You know, I fight with one hand behind my back. So, I'm open. If they send me the right offer, I'll fight this guy, no problem. They can tie my leg up, they can tie my arm up. I'll fight him with one arm, one leg. How's that? Make it even. Do I like Polish Polly girls? Girl. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, I've been with one Polish girl. You know, I went with one Polish girl before, but, um, I don't know, they're all beautiful girls, right? We get that, we get nice looking, you know? Obviously it's first sight attraction, you know? But I don't know, lots of girls are like too much attention, you know? I don't like girls who want too much attention. I think they're, gen uh, out of all the people who I've met, you know, everywhere, they would be the nicest looking, attractive looking girls, but, um, Maybe not to say if I go with them one month, two months, three months, six months. Me 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 me. Cool va. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> nice looking, yeah. Nice looking girls. Witcher three? No, Witcher 3. no, I'm not into this game. I don't. I just play uh, Dying Light. I play uh, cards with my friends online. We play together. We sit at the table. We make funny jokes. You can dance, you know, <laughs> and I like this game. It's good to interact with your friends. We can be online chatting, but I'm just PlayStation. I don't play the laptop. I don't play Xbox. If I'm playing, I play the PlayStation. What do I think about Don Castle? Yes, I, don't uh, I don't think too much about him. Never did think too much about him. I just, obviously he has his way of promoting himself, you know, but uh, I know he's still on his record, he's still at seven wins, no losses, but he lost to me, yeah, come on. Strong. Let's be real about this, like, I beat him at his own game. I won unanimous decision, and he, he even after the fight he go like this, but then when Boxdale come in <laughs> and they make this drama, what? He tried to talk shit, and then he said, yeah, I want the result changed, I want the result changed, I'm leaving the internet if I lose this fight. He lost the fight, where's he at? Still on the internet, so I don't need to fight him again. I've already whipped him. I've whipped him at his own game, so next time he needs to fight me in my game. <laughs> what do you think about Martin and Naiman? I met him a few times. I've just spoke to him just casually, like, you know, I don't understand him too much, but he spoke a little bit English to me. So I don't know him as a person. People just see him as, you know, the boy on TV fighting, the funny guy. Um, but he's smart, you know, he knows what he's doing. He makes money from what he's doing. People talk shit about him. Most people talk shit and they tell me not to fight him, but I'll fight him. If they offer me the right money to fight him, I'll fight this old man. I'll send him into proper retirement. Do I think about becoming a coach once I'm finished? I think, I think so, once I'm finished. Right now, I'm a wee bit selfish. I just think a lot about myself to focus on my career, but I've got a lot to offer young guys who, 
who want to learn grappling. You know, I can teach them a lot of things too, you know, how to stay relaxed. When I become 40 years old, I'll do this. My life in Poland, I think that Poland's good, yeah, it's good to me. I, I've been helped with promotion, but I've helped myself too, you know, not just promotion. I've helped myself also, because people try to take credit, the promotion always tried to take credit, not fame and me, but other promotions just say, oh yeah, we helped you get there, I know you did, but I helped myself get there too, so it's 50-50. Many fighters come to Poland and fight, and then, ah, you fought in Poland before, yeah, how many fights KSW? Ah, one fight, then what, then, N never, never again. Now I fight in Poland, some drama, now I fight on KSW, I fought in KSW, now I fight on Fame MMA. So I helped myself just as much as promotion has helped me. I like fighting in Poland, it's like a second home. But I would never move to Poland completely, I would never live there. I would go and stay for a few months maximum and come back home after the fights, but I would never ever stay there. I've got sons here, so that's more important to me that there. Would I rematch with Don Cassio if it's possible? Well, it's possible because if we were on Fame MMA, well, the fight was inevitable, we were going to fight, but now he's not on Fame MMA. So how's this fight going to happen? I'm signed with Fame MMA, he's signed with this new promotion. What's going to happen? I don't know. If he comes to Fame MMA, I whip him no problem again. Second fight, I can whip him again. Uh, so, but if I'm no contract with Fame MMA, if I had no contract with Fame MMA and I had no fights and the opportunity come to fight him, of course I'll fight him. Of course I will. I don't think of that I'm fighting Popic and Fame MMA and I'm a Fame MMA fighter. Your dream fight? <laughs> My dream fight, uh, now, the way everything has changed, I would like to fight me and a teammate or me and my coach against coach and fighter also. I think this is a good idea. I would be interested in this. Wow!